if you've just got your tablet and you're trying to figure out how to use it, you want to go to wacom.com, download the latest drivers on the support page, install them, and yeah, it should be good to go from there. Also, if you're using a tablet such as a Microsoft Service Pro, uh, you may need to get the Win, uh, I think they're called the WinTab drivers, also known as the Field drivers. Uh, so they behave a bit differently and they're designed for um, tablets such as the Microsoft Surface Pro. So once you've installed the Wacom tablet drivers, you'll get a software that you can open up to change the settings. That's known as the Wacom tablet properties. So you have different functions you can change and customize. And if you want to make those customizations only affect Photoshop, uh, simply first open Photoshop and then when you click this plus arrow, it should come up in this list here. So choose that and then OK. So you can adjust the express keys on the side of the tablet. So you can set them to a keystroke and other such options. You can also change your touch ring. And you can also set up the radial menu, which is a pop-up menu that's triggered by whichever key you bound it to. Now personally, I don't use the side buttons, I just use the keyboard. And all those keys that I've set up on um, a keyboard are obviously corresponding with the hotkeys in Photoshop. We can also use the touch. I've personally switched this off. I don't use the touch input. I, I don't find it that useful personally but you can set up uh, gestures and things like that to make it so that you can zoom in and out using hand gestures similar to your mobile phone. We can also change the settings on the grip pen and how that behaves. We can change the tip feel which is pretty important. Um, sometimes if you're painting you can get a bit of a sore wrist if you make it too firm so you might want to soften it up so you only have to tap lightly for uh, mark to be made in Photoshop. You can also change the tilt sensitivity and also what the buttons on the stylus do. Change the eraser function at the back of the stylus and also the mapping. Mapping is pretty important uh, especially if you're using dual monitors you'll probably only want it to affect the one monitor you're working on and then have a hotkey set up to display a toggle between them. That way you'll get the most out of your drawer area on your tablet. And you can also change it to just use a portion of the tablet. But really, whatever floats your boat and whatever you're comfortable with, obviously change it for that. Alright, so that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, definitely if you're getting into digital painting, you will need a tablet. Um, because it unlocks so much more than if you were just using a mouse. So we can set up our brushes, I'll sh just show you quickly. Uh, if we're creating a custom brush or even just tweaking brushes we already have, we can set it so that our opacity is affected by the amount that we emit, the amount of pressure that we apply to our pen. And change all sorts of things to um, like the pen tilt and all that so really it opens up all these extra options that wouldn't be there otherwise all right so that wraps it up for a quick summary of tablets so if you have more questions shoot me a message and I'll get back to you as quick as I can thank you